to know a family in my neighborhood lost everything is kind of devastating. Well, a man is pulled from his home in Struthers after flames and smoke took over. Tonight, family and friends are in shock as the victim tries to recover. Now, we heard the calls for help over our scanner just before noon, and we headed to Water and Broad Streets in Struthers. Tonight, we know that victim is still in the hospital, and investigators are searching for a cause. 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley talked to firefighters on the scene who also face some challenges. It's our top story tonight at 6. I knew that there was somebody in the house. Dramatic video shows firefighters doing everything they can to help save a man they found inside a burning home on Broad Street in Struthers. They pulled him down into the front yard and waited for the ambulance to come. As far as we know that they, they did revive him. When we last spoke with Saney's, they didn't know the extent of George Gould's injuries yet, but did say he was still being treated in their emergency room. It's devastating to see it's in my neighborhood. To know a family in my neighborhood lost everything is kind of devastating to everybody because this is a close neighborhood. But for firefighters, doing their already tough job on a humid day like this takes its toll. I don't know if you notice I went down. Yeah, between the heat getting here and the CPR on him, me being a little older, uh, the heat got to me. And like I said, I had to back off and let somebody else help out. Local investigators are still looking into what caused the fire, but firefighters on scene believe it started in a back bedroom. In Struthers, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.